Hey, welcome back, Rogue Techers. We are at Con Kane right now, at the edge of Steiner Space, and we're going to pick up a quick contract here before we perhaps move out of this area. Um, we're going to go to the command center right now. I've already identified one I think we should do. Um, we're going to do secure borders. It's uh, two and a half skulls. It's going to give us an opportunity to test out our mechs. Um, we've got the Gauss rifle now on our hunchback, and we've got um, our Blackjack fire starter, basically, or Blackjack Flamer unit ready to go. And um, I think probably at two and a half skulls, it's probably going to be a tricky mission, but I think putting us ours right in the fire here is probably a good idea just to see how we function. So let's just read this here. Commander, Circonusian surveillance teams have picked up what we believe to be the signature of an active patrol of pirate mechs engaging in reconnaissance near the borders of our holdings on this planet. This is technically not a violation of our sovereignty, but it's clearly provocative. We need you to send a message by destroying the patrol's mechs. Should you encounter any other pirate units, there will be a bonus for destroying those as well. So it looks like we're probably going to be facing two lances on this one. Let's negotiate our contract. We're once again, we're going to go for full salvage. It looks like we'll probably be have enough for repairs and everything on the way back. My only concern is that perhaps the Blackjack um, with just flamers might be a liability on this mission, but with Tag and an Arc Beacon, it's probably going to help everybody else out. So let's deploy and get this done. All right, here we go. Desert World, so it's probably a good test of how our new lance is going to function here. Let's move up and take them out. All right. Okay. So Let's four mechs this. on the ground. So with this map, I've played before, um, the reinforcements generally come in on this side over here. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to skirt up along the edge of this cliff face here. Uh, there's two ways to run this. One, we can go along the cliff face. Second is we can go up over here. But moving up over here allows any long-range weapons to hit us. At least this way, the only thing we're going to be subject to is LRMs at first. Um, and then once we've moved in and we've taken care of most of the units here, we can use the mineral field to maneuver along this side over here if we need to get behind cover once whoever else has come in along here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to reserve back to turn one. Reserving action. We're all moving on the same turn now because we've got four medium mechs, and it looks like they've got some heavies. That's interesting. All right, hey so there. let's get our flamer unit up. We're going to move forward, probably to here. See if we can get some eyes on. Oops, nope, sensor. sorry, that's not the flamer unit. Looks like enemy reinforcements. I put, uh, oh right, that's right. i got to remember that uh, height is not in the hunchback. I'm still having that problem. Maybe Ready I should switch him around. But he is a melee guy, so let's move him forward. Quick so there's the reinforcements on Look that alive. side. We've got company. Mech straight ahead. Hopefully they move forward. Chances they won't. It's going to be these guys moving. Commander. Okay, missile unit. Let's get him up here. So once again, you can see how high this hill is here. Or this, this cliff face here. So we don't have yep. to worry too much about being hit. And I'm going to position... This guy right here for now. Copy that. Gonna stay behind the uh, little bit of a rock outcropping here. So we've got a medium mech moving up. Let's get eyes on so we can destroy this guy. So first thing we're gonna do, order, um, let's move height in. We're gonna sprint in to the mineral field if we can get there. This is mineral field, right? It is. So let's go here, I think. So what do we got? Vindicator. Okay, this guy's dead meat. So we got another mech over here. Two mechs and a vehicle. And another mech over here. So let's take on this guy. Um, I don't want to go into overheat on just a Vindicator. So let's leave... Uh, let's not... Well, let's just leave one flamer off. That's fine. Okay, so it looks like the tag hit. Or was that the narc? It was the tag. So that's all right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to follow up with a couple of PPCs. I'm going to leave this guy back here. We got the range now. Heat sinking is a little better than what it was. Still putting us a little hot here, but at least we can fire twice now before overheating. So let's fire both PPCs on this guy and see what we get. So right arm. There goes his PPC. So what's this guy doing? Jumping? Okay. Doesn't look like they've got lots of long-range long weapons, so I'm not that worried right now. 
We're going to move over slightly. We're going to hit this guy again. We're going to leave the small op, but we'll fire everything else. Let's see how these missiles do here. Maybe we can make them a little unstable. We can. Okay. Head hit. Pilot injured. Nice. Need something, Chief? So I think the rest of the unit is coming in our heavies. So that's not a good sign. So let's get this guy out of the way with by firing everything on him. Um, I'm not going to worry about salvage on this guy. I just want him gone. Right leg gone, right torso gone, pilot injured, and he'll fall over and that'll be it. Solid connection on that one. Okay, one up, one down. Let's see what they got next now. So we got an assault here. I'm really hoping that's a vehicle. So those are, what, heavies? I'm guessing? Two heavies? Three heavies? Not looking good. And a vehicle. And that's the assault vehicle. So we have to kill that guy. What is this guy? Demolisher 2. So he's got to go fast. And he's got lots of armor. Okay. That's not good. Alright. Uh, first things first. We need to get... Waiting for orders. You around this way. Roger. I know I said I was going to use the cliff face, but with all those guys being heavies coming up here, I think I want to shift my my movement over here. Um, and once we can get rid of this demolisher, we can work on killing the two guys up on the hill. So this guy's really got to go fast. One hit, two hits, not really where I wanted. It's hoping in the same place. I think that was the side in the front. No, nope, both sides. So if we get a good shot. I'm here. Um, Let's soften him up again with the LRMs, and then we'll use the Gauss rifle on him. Hope we are able to take him out. So let's fire what we can on this guy. Primitive. So that hit. Looks like that was the front, but I don't know. That last time I thought it was the front too. Okay, that's a nice little softening up. Maybe we got enough to take him out with the Gauss rifle now. So those guys probably just have short-range weapons. So, if I hit a side, I can take him out. So let's move height. Confirm. Actually, let's move beam skater yeah, first. Yeah. I gotta remember, height's not in the hunchback. Okay, let's not move too far forward, but maybe we move... Let's stay... Let's just move. We'll stay in the forest. Keep our side okay, torso. Confirm. Fire straight on him. We're gonna use everything on him. Oh. I wanna make sure he dies. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Enemy vehicle destroyed. So, two up, two down. So now we're going to move height along over he here, and we're going to get eyes on, because I want to see what these guys are. Centurion and another Vindicator, is that what this is? Vindicator AA, okay, that's good to know. And this guy is just an average crappy Centurion with low armor on him. So let's just fire, uh, let's go with all the flamers again. Maybe we try and overheat this guy. I know it's not going to happen, but we'll add a little bit of heat to him. I don't think I hit him with any, any of the narcs or the tags, though. That's alright. So here comes their heavies. I'm hoping it's only three, and not a full lance. So LRM-10. Good luck in the minefield. Gives us plus four defense in there. So another heavy. And a third heavy. Please only be three. Okay, looks like it's only three. Um, there might be a slower one outside of our range, but it's unlikely. Okay, so let's move. Uh, what's this guy got here? Heavy rifle, it's like 66 damage. Two rocket launcher 10s, light machine gun. I'm thinking... Confirmed. Maybe we bring height up here with a better chance to hit and try and really heat this guy up here. So, we've got a lot better chance to hit. We're going to fire all the flamers. Let's heat this guy. So that was the um, Narc Beacon, plus 75 heat. I don't know if we hit with the uh, tag, but at least he's um, easier to hit now. What's he doing? Okay, nothing. So we're going to focus on the Vindicator. Um, we're going to reserve. I want that Vindicator to move first, so he's not fortified. Okay, good. I want to maximize our damage on him. I know he's still in the woods, but I don't want to be him to be braced there. Okay, so let's move Vainskater first, since we're going on the same time as the heavies. We want to be farther away from them if we can. 
So we're going to move him first. We don't want them to come into visual range. So we're going to move outside that, and we're going to fire straight at the Vindicator. Um, let's go with um, Goss and two medium pulses. Got lots of Goss ammo. One hit, okay. Now here they come. Got an LRM-10 probably coming in shortly. No. So that's the 10. So that was probably an AC-5, maybe? Stop. At that range? Just embarrassing yourself. All right, could be an AC-10. I don't know. I'm receiving you. Okay, let's move flatliner. We're going once again. We're just trying to keep away from those guys. The better, the more the range, the better off we are. So we're going to fire everything on this guy. Um, we're going to leave. Well, we'll fire it, fire it anyway. I was going to say we'll, we'll leave the medium laser off, but we can actually let's leave the small off. I'm just starting to worry about heat here. Once those heavies come in, we're going to need a lot of more firing. So, okay. Just hoping to make them unstable, but not quite. Another heavy coming in. Nine. Thirty-two Damage heat. Flight. What is that? Receiving you. What would do thirty-two heat? That's interesting. Okay, we're moving over here. A couple PPCs. Actually, we'll just use one because that's all we can use. Firing away. Nice torso, leg, and arm, I think and I knockdown. So these Vindicator one double A's, they're so easy to kill. They lighten the armor to add more armament. So if you got heavy weapons, feel free to just like open up on them as soon as you possibly can. Okay, so let's move height around behind the Centurion. Roger, Skipper. Taking it. We're gonna keep them barbecued for now. Have to watch our heat level here. So we probably only need three or four hits, and we've got a ton of chances to hit. So let's leave. I think we hit him with the narc last time, so let's make sure we hit him with the tag this time, uh, and just click a couple flamers off. Let's go with four flamers, and we'll we'll include the narc. Why not? I'm on him. So the narc hit, tag hit. That's enough to shut him down. Perfect. So he's done this turn. So we can finish up the vindicator and then put whatever we have left on him. So I'm thinking for finishing up the Vindicator, what do we got left here? He's got a full CT. So we're gonna move um, Vainskater up. Uh, we're gonna sprint it up here. And we're gonna put one into his side. I know we're kind of exposing our back to them slightly, but I wanna make sure this guy's gone. So we're gonna fire the same thing. Um, we're gonna go for a CT hit and try and kill this guy. All right, let's do this. Well, one hit, okay. And we're going to ground zero up. We're just going to walk it up. That's going to be harder to hit there, so we're going to move here. On my way. And we've got enough for two PPCs now. So we're going to use both. We're going to aim for the CT and try and kill him. Firing full complement on enemy. Park it. Normally, if I had time, I would go for the head, but with this, we really need to remove them as soon as possible. I'm ready. So flatliner, um, we're going to go to a place where we have slight line I of sight. Have a win. And then we're just going to unload on this guy. Um, we're leaving the two lasers off, and we're just going to go with all the missiles. Maybe we get a head hit. Okay, structure exposed. Now he was down. He was. He wasn't dead full uh, armor anyway. So, what is he using? This heat is cooking my internal structure. It sure is. We got to kill that Centurion fast. Okay, that was a miss. Okay, I think... Oh, I crap. I think we need to get off this hill, too. Commander. If we can kill the Centurion next turn, which I think we can, we should have at least one turn of relaxation before those guys are going to be able to see us, which means we can get our heat down again. So, let's get height. Oh, I want to move a lot, but I, I, I'm afraid to... I got you. Be out of this guy. We're not we gotta shut this guy down. So he's got, yeah. So let's go. How much? How many flamers can we get on him? That many. We'll leave the narc and tag fire. Okay, so that should shut him down. Here we go. Force him to restart this turn. Battle mech power up 
that's just fine. So we're going to go with Flatliner first. We're going to walk around. Um, I want to get direct line of sight on them. I don't want direct line of sight on them. So, boy, this is really going to be tough. If we don't kill him here, it's going to be a problem. So let's try to burrow through his side. He's got a lot of side damage. Burrowing through his side here is the best way to go. Can we fire everything? We're going to fire everything. Primitive. There's the torso gone. Okay. Unsteady. Not that it matters, but... Alright, Bane Skater, we're just going to... We're going to sprint up. Where can we go here? Right here. Um... Now we need to get as far up as we can. That's not going to help either. Here, I think, probably. And we're just going to use the Gauss rifle, I think. I want to lower his heat slightly right, in, right now. So let's just fire that. There we go. Gone. Bad guy down. Bad guy down. Commander. Now we need to get up out of the way here. So we're just going to move back. On my way. Double time. And we'll end our turn back here. Now they can't see us, so I'm okay. So they got to move forward. I don't know whether to engage these guys at long range. In order for height to be successful, oh crap, you and your stupid sensor locks. In order height for, for height to be successful, he's got to be in close, right? Here comes a PPC hit. Nope. Oh, good. Okay, so height first. We're going to come down here. Is this, this is in the field. Um, I don't, I'm reluctant to move here to spot that guy. Where else can we see him that the other guys can't be seen? We can see this guy. We can kind of see that guy here. I'm going to go here. I got you. I know I'm out of the mineral field, but I've got line of sight now. So this is a Warhammer. 6K, 800 armor. So it's very, very low armor comparatively. So this is our next target. Um, so he's just going to end his turn there. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave our other three guys. So we're going to move Flatliner. Step back into the trees here. Now we've got line of sight. Away. I know we were going to wait a turn, but we don't have that option right now. So we're going to just fire our missiles at him. The Warhammer's got to be gone. Okay. And then the next thing, how much stability damage does this Goss Rifle do? Uh, 17. Now, the PPCs do how much? 20. So let's go with the PPCs first. We're going to back up. Heading out. Moving into the trees, just in case he does get a shot off. I don't think they can see us right now. The other two guys you can see are going to be going into the valley, so hopefully they won't be able to see us back here. But we're going to fire two PPCs. Maybe we get a CT hit. Looks like one leg. That's it. Crap. High percentage chance and just lousy chance good. to hit like that. It just, I, I just fr infuriates me. Um, so we've got a direct line of sight from here. So that's where we're going to go. And we're just going to fire the Goss Rifle. 71% chance to hit. We're just going to fire it openly. Here you go. Really, really. That's a miss. That is a miss, and it's just infuriating. Okay, so he's going to be coming into range of the flamers now. And firing at the only guy that he can see, who's super evasive right now. I feel a little more comfortable with uh, height being in the blackjack. It's got a little bit more armor than the uh, fire starter had. What's this guy? A dragon? pirate. So he's using an AC5 it's with like... Now. Oh, it's on now, is it? Um, I mean, we could take him Orders. towards the enemy. Put him in here. And it's going to be really hard for them to hit him. So he's going to have, what, four? Three chevrons plus four for the uh, being in the mineral field. So he's pretty good. I think we're going to shoot the dragon? I think this guy's a little more dangerous right now, so let's go after him. And we're going to unload everything on him. Maybe we get the Narc and the Tag on him. Okay, Narc and Tag hit. 75 heat, so he's probably not shooting next turn. 
Um, back here, we're not even going to move. Uh, there's no point to point of moving because they're not going to be able to see us. So we're going to unload on him with everything. See if we can take this warhammer down. Be nice if we could double leg this guy, but chances are we're just going to have to blow his torso up. Center torso. Head hit. Pilot injured. Okay. Um, going to attack. Let's use try and use the gauss rifle here. So this is a 86% chance. Let's just fire it and see what we get. Torso hit. Knockdown. Okay, now I'm going to follow up and try and take... I wish I could double target his legs. What's up, boss? Um, we're going to fire at him again. And we're going to try to go for torso or his leg here. Let's take the other leg. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take this leg here. Hopefully we take it off, but we'll see. Ooh, that's uh, even better than I expected. Nice. Down to two heavies now. So I know a lot of people like using punch bots up in the front, so you can punch the enemy and stuff. You can use flamer bot too, as long as he's got good armor, um, to shut enemies down and open them up for long range fire. A second dragon. We might be able to salvage a lot of dragon parts this time. That all you got? It's one end though, so what is this guy? This guy's not a pirate, he's got... It's pretty much the same as the other one, just a regular AC-5. This guy's got an overheating AC-5. So, you. Uh, you need to stay there to see these guys, but Order. you don't need to be... We can move you last. So let's take out the pirate guy, because he's got the overheating ammo. They're both got the same amount of armor. So we're going to shoot this pirate guy first. I'm going to go two PPCs and see what we can open up. Okay, blow his right arm off. That'll work. I think that's where the uh, AC was, if I'm correct. Yep, so we don't have to worry about the overheating AC. Flatliner from back here. See, we're outside of their visual range even, so we're going to fire everything. Unless they've got like a cockpit that uh, allows them for extra visual range. Usually these pirate guys don't. They just have a uh, um, a cockpit that prevents against injury. So we're going to shoot this guy. And the medium pulse laser is out of range. Do I want to move in closer? No, I think we'll stay here. We're happy with what we got going on. Okay. So height, you are just going to move behind here. Move order received. So now they can't see him. They can't fire. And they're going to have to move in, and then Height's going to come back around and spot them again, and we're going to fire at them all again. So this guy's turned his torso to us. So Height can see him, not that I care. Orders. We're going to come back around to where we were before. We're going to shoot this guy with everything. So tagged, and I don't know, he's not narked. But he is tagged, and I think we can probably do it with Flatliner. I want to do it with the guy that's got the least amount of heat, so maybe Vayne Skater here. Maybe we can punch through his CT right now. Okay, right torso gone. Let's see what our missile status is right now. So we still got 80 LRMs, so let's go with PPCs instead. I want to keep them for the other guy. I know I sh probably shouldn't, but we're going to fire two PPCs on him. Unsteady. Didn't quite kill him. So Flatliner, I think if we attack him, and he's got 49 in the CT, we're going to go with one rack and the medium laser. Should probably be enough, I think. Yep. Nicely done. So that dragon will probably come back. Nope, he's coming down. And let's do this proper here. We're coming around behind him. And we're using everything on him. Hopefully we shut him down. Narc and Tag both hit. Yep, hit with everything. So now let's see if we can blow his head off. So that's partially obscured. Here we go. Position confirmed. So I've only got one PPC available, also overheat. But we are going to go for a headshot. 
I want to see if we can get maximum salvage out of this guy. Nope. Okay, pinpoint damage. Again, let's move uh, T Hor forward, or let's move Van Skater forward, and then we're going to shoot for the head. It looked like it was close to the head, but not quite. I await your command. All right, flatliner moving forward. I'm going. Same idea. Going to target the head. Uh, we're going to fire everything. Roger that. Only got one more turn of missiles. Full turn of missiles, that is. Any head hits? There's one. So he'll pyro up. Battle mech power up detected. And then height. Confirmed. Is this guy? He's fully stable still. So we're just going to go with a full flamer attack from the back. That sh everything should hit on this one. Yep. Barbecue. Oh, almost everything hit. Missed with one flamer at 99.1% chance to hit. <laughs> we still miss with a flamer. Alright, ground zero. Two PPCs for the head. Let's see if we can take it off. Right torso, left torso. Was there a knockdown? Nope. All right, Flatliner. We'll be done. See if we get lucky. If you can hit his head, oh, he's gonna die. Let's just go with one. See if we can get a lucky shot on the head and knock him down. Nope. Well, we did get a head hit, but it didn't matter. Oh well. Mission. So there's another successful mi mission. Three medium max, three heavy max, and an assault tank, and we did really, really well. 111,000, that should be more than enough to repair us. We did take one head hit though. It was sort of a random missile head hit, but no real penetration, no loss here at all. Um, so that was a good round. Let's see what we get, what we get for salvage here. So, eh, not much dragon parts, but a lot of vin chance for Vindicator parts though. I really don't want a 1A. Warhammer parts, we've got three already. We could, if we get five more, we can get a Warhammer. And there's lots of Warhammer parts here. Nice. AC-20 Ultra. That is interesting. I think we've already got one though, so wait, do we have one? We don't have any. Hmm, that's an option. What else do we have down here? Anything good? Uh, big engines for money. Probably gonna need a little money coming up shortly. And that's it really. So let's take the two big engines. Well, one big engine and the other one. And then I think what we'll do is we'll take the two AC-20s. Pirate Flamer. One recoil, minus one accuracy. But does 20 damage and 12 heat. I would rather stick with the ones that we have, I think. So we'll take both AC-20 Ultras. There's Flame Breath too, right? Two recoil. Plus five, minus five. Eh, we have to be melee range for this. It's not really worth it. So let's confirm this. So we always oh, we came so close to the Warhammer. One Vindicator part and four Warhammer parts. Oh, three more PPCs, a couple heat sinks, AC-20 ammo. Okay, cool. All right, 3,500 in repairs. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's really awesome. Um, yeah, that's great. So how we're really close. We just need one more piece, and we got a Warhammer. Um, let's see what this is here. As you pass Med Bay, you you hear Height and Payroll shouting, followed by a loud metallic crash. Why doesn't that surprise me? Commander, Height calls as you enter. How nice of you to join us. He rises halfway out of bed, trailing a tangled rope of tubes and wires. The senior doctor turns on you, flushed and angry. Commander, your mech warriors refuse to follow their recovery regimen. Payroll looks up from a nearby chair. Come on, you old quack. Can't you see Height is ready to get back out there? Instruct the doctors to relax the rules, discipline height, and confine him to med bay, or order height to practice while he recovers. So let's do that. We're going to send him into the to the uh, training module. So I decide to I decide who fights and who doesn't. Not you, payroll. But no one fights until the doctor gives you the clean bill of health. He turned to the doctor. I respect the challenges you face here, but clearly height is going a little stir crazy. Perhaps you should spend some time each day in the training module. The doctor tightened tightened. The doctor's tightened lip to communicate displeasure, but she keeps those words to herself. Very well, Commander. We'll need him on his feet soon, though. Soon enough, walking to the training room and back won't be any different than doing his, doing laps in the hallway. So they both gained 50 experience. So that's cool. 
At least he doesn't injure himself further, which is something I probably I know he would probably do in real life. Job's done, Commander. Okay, one, two, one more day. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna maybe next time. Actually, we're gonna end this episode early today. Let's check our barracks and see where our experience at. Um, we'll end this episode early, and next time when we come back, we're going to go hunting for a Warhammer piece. So blank spare. Just going to raise this up, confirm, confirm it. Want to have every, everything at four, so we can have options as to how he's going to level up. So flatliner. I think. Do I want to go this route? Base weapon to hit, and recoil penalty. I'm thinking probably so. Having a better chance to hit with the missiles is good. I I don't think we're going to get... I think this is n minus 90 minimum range. Um, let's hang on and see what we can get for tactics. So we're going to wait. Alright, so I think we're waiting here for gunnery. Um, aye, aye. Payroll almost has enough for tactics. And aye. main skater. Um, don't need minimum range. Well, we do kind of, I think, for the... Goss rifle, but I'm not really sure. So let's just hang on a bit for him, and we'll just save up those points. All right, so that'll be in the end of today's episode. We're looking pretty good. We got enough money to cover next month's financial report that's coming in one day. And when we come back next time, we're going to try and find another two and a half skull or or two skull mission. Something that I don't know about repossession. Uh, it's ambush convoy, maybe. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. Um, I think we're in a good position to do uh, an ambush convoy mission right now. Got a lot of good hard pinpoint damage, and if, if we're fighting four max and four vehicles, I think we're probably going to be pretty much okay. So we're going to leave it now, and uh, next time when we come back, hopefully we find ourselves another piece of a Warhammer and able to finish that Warhammer off. Um, but until that time, I'll see you later.